Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for joining me today as we are continuing some time in the Word of God. Um, since all over this planet, people are focused on, at this time of the year, on the birth of Jesus, I want to take some time and look at um, the account of the scripture that deals with the birth of Jesus. And so we're in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, reading from verse number 18. Now the birth of Jesus took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. <coughs> she was found before the two of them came together, before they had any kind of um, connection, any kind of intimacy. The Bible says she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband, Joseph, now Joseph seemed to be a remarkable man. The Bible tells us being a just man. He was a good man, a just man. And he was unwilling to put her to shame. He was not going to embarrass this woman that he was engaged to and put her to shame because he found that she was pregnant. The Bible says he resolved to divorce her quietly, quietly. He's just going to do this thing um, quietly said so she would not be put to shame. He was protecting, even though he was probably very hurt, quite disappointed. He was going to um, put her away quietly and take care of her reputation. But the Bible says, as he considered these things, and behold, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Thank God that, you know, we have mankind and planet Earth. There is God in heaven. We know there is a... Um, uh, Satan and his demons, but he's God has got his angels who are engaging with us. And the Bible says that an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And we see that many times that God spoke to people in dreams um, in the Old and even in the New Testament. <coughs> and um, here Joseph had this dream and he says, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. Do not be afraid to do that. This is unconventional. This is probably a teen pregnancy, um, an unexpected pregnancy on your part. But he says, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. So God is speaking to Joseph and telling him, hey, this child that, that Mary is bearing <coughs> is as a result of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And um, so you should not be alarmed over this. This is God's doing. And um, so Joseph, being a good man, being a just man, finding out that his 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 fiance was was pregnant and wanting to put her away, now he's probably resting a bit more at ease and at peace, having been spoken to by God in a dream. And God is, maybe God knew his personality. God knew what um, Joseph was made of before he planned to use him as um, as the one who's going to uh, raise his son, Jesus. But he knew he's going to be accepting of Mary. He's going to be open to this proposition. I pray today that, well, you know, we would reflect upon this man, Joseph, not just Mary and um, and Jesus, but reflect upon Joseph his, his character, his qualities as a just man and someone who was not willing to put Mary to shame. <clears throat> he was going to do this thing quietly. How many of us are like that? You know, something is done. So we know someone has done something wrong. And you're quick to um, sort of make that a big matter, a big issue. But he was going to cover it up and put her away quietly. We'll continue this tomorrow and um, as we continue in, in the account um, on the birth of Jesus. See you tomorrow. God bless.